Robbing the rich to feed the poor isn't on the government's agenda yet, but taxpayers' money is about to be spent in an attempt to rescue struggling homeowners and the housing market. And the mortgage outstanding is that... This company in Nottingham buys properties from people on the verge of being repossessed and becomes their landlords. The company gets an asset at a discount. Homeowners get to remain in their homes. It's called sale and rent back, and it's a scheme the government wants to embrace. It's a win-win situation. At the end of the day, um, they're in a situation they could potentially lose their homes or they remain in them. So it's a, it's a situation which, which works with all the way around. And the lenders then obviously are allowed to just get off their backs. The government also wants to help out home builders who are struggling to sell new homes and first-time buyers who are struggling to buy them. The plan is to team up with developers like Persimmon to entice buyers with loans free of charge for five years and make grants available for local authorities. On this site, in spite of the incentives, Persimmon can't sell 27 new flats. Nottingham City Council says for £50 million of government money, it can help. We could be building new council housing for rent. We could be getting involved with local people buying the majority of the property and the council owning the rest, and therefore we've got an appreciating asset. And, of course, if you do build housing stock, you do actually get a rent income that can be servicing the debt that you then generate. The mortgage market is showing signs of improvement. These are the rates five of the biggest lenders were offering on a two-year fix in mid-July. These are the rates they're offering now. The problem, though, is first-time buyers need deposits of up to 25% to benefit. We contacted 10 mortgage brokers in Nottingham and were told that first-time buyers here have all but dried up. People either don't have big enough deposits to qualify for the best mortgage deals or they've lost confidence in a falling market. Improving credit will be a big enough challenge. Restoring buyers' confidence may prove beyond the government's control. Joel Hills, Sky News in Nottingham.